Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto. I am your host, BitBoy. Welcome to the channel. You can become a member of our community by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. Keep in mind, nothing I say in my videos is financial advice and we make these videos every single day. Uh, also, don't forget we are giving away $500 in Bitcoin. All you got to do, be a subscriber, make some comments. You can get more information down in the video description below. So today we are going to be reviewing the ARK wallet. This is an update I provided on our news video a couple weeks ago when it came out. Maybe it was about a month ago now, but I had a lot of comments on why I didn't just go ahead and review the video. So I put a poll on Twitter for which wallet I should review next, and ARK did not win. It got second place though. So I reviewed the Neon wallet. You can check that video out um, in our wallet review playlist. Uh, and today I'm going to go ahead and review the ARK wallet. So I've already exchanged some of my crypto and I have some ARK sitting on Binance right now. I'm going to be sending it to my wallet. I'm going to let you guys know how long it takes for that transaction to process. So I've actually not opened the app up yet. That's the way I like to do my reviews. So you get my reaction as well as a review. So as always, Falcons rise up. Uh, that's first and foremost. And second of all, there will be parts of this video that I will have to cut out for privacy reasons, uh, private key and things like that. But let's go ahead and check it out. So it's got a pretty cool interface right when you open it. It's got some art tokens. It's got some information. Welcome abroad. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Welcome aboard. Uh, we provide all the tools you need to manage your ARC tokens anytime, anywhere, worldwide. Security. All your sensitive data is securely stored using PBK DF2 algorithm and AES256 encryption protected by your PIN code. Fast and easy. Swipe between profiles and wallets. Check your balances. Send and receive funds and much more. So let's go ahead and click done. Okay, so we got to create our profile. So now I got to create a pin. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through this while I create my pin. Okay, I'm back. All right, so let's go ahead and put our name in. I'm just going to put BitBoy here. Let's see what the advanced is. Let's click that. Uh, choose your network, the develop net or the main net. We'll stick with the main net. It's kind of weird that you can choose that, I, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, why would you not want to do the main net? So I'm going to go ahead and type my pin in. Okay, to import or create a wallet, click on the button below. Let's go ahead and click up here on the menu bar as well. Get a look at the menu. So we'll go through all that in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and plus uh, generate. Okay, so we're going to swipe randomly to create this. So just swiping all across my phone. Good luck if you guys want to copy that. Okay. Um, let's see here, public address. So this is my public address. Uh, so secret passphrase. Oh, I'm going to have to block that out so you guys don't see that. Okay, so now we've actually entered the wallet. As you guys can see, I have zero in there. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Binance account, and I'm going to go ahead and start this transaction, and we'll see how long it takes to hit the wallet. Okay, so we started the transaction right at 9.07, so I'll let you guys know if it happens while... Uh, we're doing the review, or if I got to come back on later and tell how long it took. So, okay, so we have our address here. As you can see, that is my public address. That is where I sent uh, my ARC to. So let's see what these little three dots are up here. Register delegate, delegates, label, wallet backup to register delegate. So you can register yourself as a delegate for 25 ARC coins. Um, obviously, I don't have any in my account, so I'm not going to do that right now. Look at all the delegates by hitting delegates, and it'll show you um, all of the different delegates on the network, which is pretty interesting. You have active and then standby you can look at. So a lot of those are pools, as you can see. So let's go back. Let's click our three dots again. Uh, label. You can label your wallet, like on Binance, when you go to uh, you know transfer your ARC coins to the wallet. Uh, it'll have a spot for a label, so that's where you would set that. Uh, you can back up the wallet, and you can remove the wallet. So over here on the left side, uh, we have wallets. Obviously, we just have one wallet in here. At any time, if you want to make a new wallet, you could uh, hit the plus button in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. Uh, delegates, obviously, we've already checked that out. Network status. This is the status of the network. It's okay. Okay, let's go back. Then we have settings. So you can change the language, the currency, your PIN, clear data, uh, clear your data. You can check out the privacy policy. It'll also show you which version it is, which right now I'm running on 1.00. Uh, so this actually takes you to your browser 
where you can see um, the privacy policy. If you're into all that, uh, do you read a privacy policy? Who, who does that, really? Okay, and then we have, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the, the settings. We also have contacts. So you can, let's see if I hit add here. So you can add other people's art addresses and their name to your contact list for easy uh, sending back and forth, which is pretty cool. So that looks like that is pretty much it. That is the entire wallet. So right now, what we're waiting on is we're just waiting on my transaction. Um, let me check my computer real quick and see if it has any process here. So my computer says it's still processing, which a lot of times actually means that it's on Binance's end. So until Binance gets ready to send it, then you know we're not going to really know the end result of how long it took. But just remember, I did initiate the transfer at 9.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just if you were wondering. Um, but it hasn't gone through yet. It's only been four minutes at this point. So I'll let you guys know in a second how long it actually takes. All right, so as you guys can see, I have now got my ARC in my wallet. I sent 90 over. I got 89.9. I think probably Binance took 0.1 is what happened there. But as you guys can see, I can click here and I can go to the Explorer and it shows me exactly what time it hit. So I sent it at 9.07 and it hit my wallet at 9.14. It took 112 confirmations to get here and it was sent from Binance. So seven minutes, obviously not bad in the world of cryptocurrency for a transaction. So overall, I like this wallet. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's sleek. It's smooth. It's got more options than a lot of wallets I've looked at, which I, I just kind of like to explore on here. So I'm glad you could join me for this exploration. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, don't forget, become a member of the Bit Squad. You can get all of our review videos, our news videos, our parody videos, everything in the middle. All you got to do is just click the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell for post notifications also. And until next time, BitBoy out.